And here is the latest Infinite Flight news. Hello everyone, Xator here and welcome back to another YouTube video. I hope you people are doing amazing because I sure am. Huge thank you to everyone for the mad support we're getting on the channel at the moment. We are crazy growing. It is amazing to be going like that. I've also begun doing time lapses, so if you're enjoying the time lapses, please check them out. Link in the description. Make sure you go check them all out. And today, in today's video topic will be infinite flight news uh news about everything in infinite flight so there may be news that you do not know about or news you may not want to hear so stay tuned for the entire video thank you now as i'm recording this video right now i'm actually wearing one of the x and merch jumpers from the merch store so if you are interested in getting one of your own there is a link in the description as well for my merch go check it out i'm going to play the advert right now very quickly are you after some new clothes or something to keep you warm well, I know, just the place to go, head over to the Exxon merch store where you can buy anything going from hoodies to t-shirts to even phone cases now. Go check out what's there. Thank you. And thank you very much for watching that. If you guys are still here, we are about to get straight into the news. But first of all, if we can hit 1.9k by next Friday. So I believe it is Friday the 26th, I want to say. Friday the 26th sounds about right. No, it's the 24th. If we can hit 1.9k by Friday the 24th, that'd be crazy. If we can hit 2k by the end of the month, I will release a special video. That's right, I've got a special video coming out when we hit 2k, but let's get straight into the news. Right, let's start off the news with clouds. As many of you are aware, clouds are coming to infinite flight very soon. Now, clouds have been something we've always wanted, but just a quick reminder, these clouds are going to be 2D but they will be real-time clouds. So if there's clouds over London, there will be clouds over London in infinite flight, same as for anywhere else in the world. So if there is heavy clouds over New York City right now in infinite flight, there'll be clouds over New York City right now if you're using real-time weather. So that's really cool. We will have real-time weather clouds in infinite flight, which will also coincide with the fog that we have right now in Infinite Flight Live, which is really cool. Now, I do not know if clouds are coming out in the 777 rework update, but I sure as do hope they are, but I cannot guarantee they are going to be coming out with the coming rework. Now, let's go straight onto the 777 as we are talking about it. That's right, the 777 rework is coming to Infinite Flight, and I seriously think it can be coming to our mobile devices within the next three weeks. Now, that's crazy short. It began beta testing about a week ago. It took the A350 two weeks to complete beta testing, but I think it might take the 777 three weeks due to current bugs within Infinite Flight because it keeps crashing, and we don't want the 777 to be crashing. Now, it only crashes for iOS users. Please note that out. Infinite Flight only crashes for iOS users at the moment because of a memory leak with iOS 13 and Infinite Flight when they coincide with each other. So please do keep that in mind. So 777 will be coming soon. Now interior cabin, many of you want to know if there's going to be an interior cabin in the 777 coming to Infinite Flight. Now I wish I could say no because that's what I think it's going to be. But there will be an opening door and we have doors that open on the CRJs which have an interior cabin as well. But if there is an interior cabin inside the 777, it's got to be a huge interior cabin. Which is why I'm not too sure if there will be one. But for now, let's say there isn't going to be an interior cabin. And if there is one, it will be a lovely surprise for us to all have. Now let's move on to our final bit of Infinite Flight general news. Now our final bit of general news is Project Metal. Now there's so much for Project Metal, it'll probably be about two videos worth of coverage. So if you guys want to hear more about Project Metal, please let me know in the comments down below. It would be greatly appreciated. But anyway, um, it's going to be updating the coding program for Infinite Flight. So Infinite Flight are going to be coding the simulator, or the app shall we say, on a new software. It's going to be increasing the frame rates. We're going to have more dynamic lighting, which could be airport lights and environmental lights. Uh, we're going to have real-time shadows, hopefully. Dense 3D clouds are all possibilities if once Project Metal is completed. The fog will be of better quality which is amazing and even more visible aircraft than we have currently on Infinite Flight Multiplayer. Now this is really really cool but I will complete more information on Project Metal in a future video if you are interested in that. Other than that, that's been all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember there is a merch link in the description if you want some new clothing. Now now the shops are closed, you can get your online clothes from the Extentorium merch store, which is amazing. Um, other than that, that's about as far as we got for today's YouTube video. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will see you all in a future video. Thank you for watching. Good night.